A lot of people want to start gardening because they would like to eat organic food. What is organic gardening? Organic gardening is gardening without the use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers. And we know that chemicals cause a lot of health issues in the body, including cancer, birth defects, and others. And that is the exact reason why we are gardening organically here in North Texas Zone 8A. And we follow 10 principles in our garden to keep our gardening as organic as possible. The first principle is that that we finally come to grips that there are certain varieties that we simply cannot grow here in Zone 8A. Instead, we grow different varieties that are resistant specifically to squash vine borers, like Seminole pumpkins that we grew successfully last year. And this year, instead of zucchinis, we grow loofah or sponge gourds. The second idea is to plant a trap crop. Earlier this spring, we grew zucchinis right here, and next to them, I planted spaghetti squash, and squash vine borers were coming after spaghetti squash and left zucchinis alone for a while. Sunflowers are another great trap crop. If you plant sunflowers close to tomatoes, then leaf-footed bugs will readily go to sunflowers and leave tomatoes alone. This brings us to a third idea. Use insect mesh or netting to protect your seedlings and plants from different insects. A couple of months ago, I planted corn and we had a lot of grasshoppers in our backyard. And grasshoppers love munching on tender seedlings so to protect our corn seedlings, I covered them with some insect mesh that gave them a chance to grow up, get stronger, and be more resistant to grasshoppers. Now let's talk about aphids. They're notorious pests in every garden. Around this time, early fall, they are very active and ladybugs are not active. So ladybugs cannot help with controlling them. So what I do, I simply spray them with a strong stream of water and that usually removes them. And then if I notice more aphids, I repeat the procedure. The next idea is to attract beneficial insects and it's very easy to do if you plant a lot of flowers in your garden and also don't use any chemical sprays because if you use sprays for example for aphids you might as well spray ladybugs or their larvae or their eggs. In the early days of our gardening I used to grow only vegetables I didn't see any benefit of flowers but the more flowers we grow in our garden the more beneficial insects we see here and they do a really good job pollinating our cucumbers melon, squash, so I don't have to walk around and hand pollinate all that. Our insects do all that job for us. The next idea is companion planting. Companion planting is when you plant certain flowers next to certain vegetables and they help keep pests away or you plant certain vegetables or herbs together to help them grow better. Companion planting is a little bit of a gray area in our garden because I personally don't follow it, but we do have some marigolds like right here. They grew beautifully in the spring, then it got hot and they dropped flowers. And now we have some new ones coming up from the old plants. We also have basil right there. I don't plant it next to tomatoes, even though they are really beneficial to tomatoes. I just have them in this spot. Even though we don't have companion planting in our garden, we do polyculture. And that means that we grow all kinds of vegetables and flowers together. In other words, we don't have a long row of only melons. And that keeps harmful insects away from certain plants. Sometimes there are instances in gardening when we do need to use some organic sprays. This year, I use organic sprays literally three times. It seems like the more we garden, the fewer sprays we use. If you look at this in ground bed here where we grow our corn, you can notice some uh, plants of nutsedge. This is a notorious weed that's very hard to get rid of because it sends these little webs of roots under the ground and it's really hard to pull them up deeply. I pull it up, but the little nut still stays in the ground and then sends a new plant. Believe it or not, this whole in-ground bed with corn used to be full of nutsedge. Some people use specific herbicides for nutsedge, but what it does it destroys nutsedge with all the other life in that soil. So it kills all the bacteria, fungi, and earthworms. And so that soil is dead. And if it's dead, then it does not really nourish your plants. And we got rid of the nutsedge in this bed simply by pulling every single one of them. The next principle is not to use synthetic fertilizers. Synthetic fertilizers decrease soil fertility, they deplete nutritional content in food, and direct contact with synthetic fertilizers actually causes harm to babies. Right now, there are a lot of organic options for fertilizers online and in stores. Here in our garden, we use fish fertilizer and more bloom. 
they feed our plants perfectly. Our plants are strong and I believe because of that fertilizer they actually survived our terrible summer. We also make our own compost, bury kitchen scraps straight into the ground and sometimes we use mushroom compost that we buy at Lowe's or Home Depot that greatly improves our clay soil. To keep gardening organic it's also important to plant at the right time. Here's a quick example. In earlier days of our gardening I used to plant cucumbers and melons at the end of March thinking I would plant them earlier so they would start producing earlier. Well that was a bad mistake because March is the month when cucumber beetles start emerging from their winter winter dormancy and they are so hungry they go after those seedlings and their larvae feast on the roots of those cucumbers. And so now I plant cucumbers later in the season, beginning of April or mid-April or better yet I start seeds indoors in March and by April the seedlings are large enough to be planted outside and I also cover them with an insect mesh to make sure they grow and get stronger. And our final principle is plant more than you plan to harvest. The more seedlings or plants you have have, the less tempted you will be to get a spray every time you see an insect munching on one of those seedlings because you know you still have plenty more seedlings that will survive and grow and bring you fruit. It's so important to eat organic food for our health and for the generation to come. That is why we encourage you to grow food organically. I hope you enjoy this video. This is Mills Family Gardening. I'm Dina and have a great day.